everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful Valentine's Day banner out of many things that include from the Dollar Tree. Some things are included at other places, but everything is fairly inexpensive. So I'm going to go ahead and show you everything you're going to need to get started and let's head into the video. First thing you're going to need is some cardstock paper. One roll of this kind of paper, I'm actually not sure what it's called, but you can find it at a roll of it at the Dollar Tree. Some Elmer's glue and a paintbrush. Some scrapbook paper with the pattern of your choosing. I am using a musical notes pattern today because I think it would look very beautiful and romantic with this DIY. Some scissors. Some twine and some roses and laundry clips are optional if you would like them. So first thing you're gonna do for this DIY is cut um, some triangles out of your cardstock paper. I, am, I will be cutting eight triangles out today because I want eight triangles for my banner, but it is completely up to you how many flags you would like for your banner. I am, will just be doing eight today. All right, now that you've cut all your flags out of your cardstock paper, you're gonna wanna use one of the um, triangles you cut out to cut double the amount of triangles on this kind of paper that you did um, on this kind of paper. So I cut out eight of these. So I will be cutting out 16 of triangles on this one. So now that I've cut all my triangles out of on my brown paper, I'm gonna take um, two pieces two triangles from the brown paper and use one on each side of and use my glue um, and cover each side of the cardstock paper with glue and put and use these to cover each side of the triangle. So while I'm waiting for my flag to dry, I'm going to cut out my hearts out of my scrapbook paper. I cut out two different size hearts as you can see here. I'm going to cut out eight big hearts and then um, nine of the littler hearts. All right now that my flag is pretty much dry I'm going to now glue one of my my big hearts onto my flags. So after you glue your big heart onto your flag you're going to want to Use a hole punch, and I forgot to mention you will need a hole punch for this DIY. And you're gonna you're gonna want to punch a hole on each side of the flag in each side of the smaller heart. Next, you're gonna want to string your flag and your small heart onto your twine. And as you can see from the pattern here, I'm going using a small heart and then a flag, and I'm um, weaving it in the from the back, stringing it in the back so you can't see it in the front. I screwed up on that one a little bit, but I'm doing it in the back. You can do it in the front too. That looks cute as well, but I'm just doing a flag and then a small heart and then a flag and then a small heart. All right, once your flags and your tiny hearts are all strung in, I'm gonna take each end of the banner and just tie a little loop. That way when you hang it up, you can um, use the thumbtack to hang on this loop. So there is the completed banner without the roses or the clothespins. I think it looks great just like this. And if you're into more of a neutral look, I think this is um, a banner that's perfect for you. But if you like to add a little bit color to your decor, then I'm going to show you what next, what you can do to make it a little bit more of that Valentine's Day feel. So to add some color to your Valentine's Day banner, you're going to want to pop the tops off of some Dollar Tree roses and use a glue gun to glue them on the flags of your banner. One thing I suggest too is to cut off the little um, ends of your flowers just to create a flatter surface for you to work with. So to show you how I'm putting the roses on, I'm taking my glue gun and just adding a big pile of glue just right in the middle of my heart and I'm running out of here and then I take my rose and I just stick it right on there and I make sure to push pretty hard to make sure the rose is nice and secure on there 
And there is a completed banner along with the rose the roses. I think it turned out very beautiful. I'm actually not one to like a lot of color in my decor, even if it's like Valentine's Day or Christmas decor, but I actually very much love the roses. I think they add such an elegant romantic touch, and I think it's very different and very fun. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like and subscribe if you'd like to see more videos from me. I do a lot of DIY farmhouse um, decor decorating type videos, so I hope you subscribe and stay tuned for those, and I hope you guys have a wonderful day, and happy Valentine's Day. Bye-bye.